our last port on our princess cruise aboard the Crown Princess was Antigua, and we had a gorgeous day there. I'll put all my previous cruise videos in the description box down below, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications when I upload a new video every Monday and Thursday. We had several very active and physical days planned for this cruise. So for our last port day, we debated a bunch of different beaches and what we might do, but decided to leave it pretty open in case we were feeling a little exhausted at this point in our trip, and we're very glad that we did. We were pretty worn out from all the back-to-back -back port days, all the swimming, all the sun, so we decided to go in, take in the port a little bit, and then just go back to the ship and sort of relax all afternoon while most people were in the port. When you first get off the pier in Antigua, it can be a little overwhelming. There are a lot of tourists, of course, but there's also a ton of the locals, like cab drivers and tour guides, that are all trying to get your attention and convince you to let them take you to some beach or on some kind of tour. So if you're looking for that, if you did not already plan an excursion, you're definitely not gonna have a hard time finding somewhere to go. But we were trying to keep it pretty low key and just sort of wander the port, so all of those people were just a little bit distracting, so we didn't really do any shopping right there at the pier. There were a lot of the typical sort of touristy stores that you will see in pretty much every cruise port. But we'd already seen several Diamonds International stores, for instance, so we decided to try and get a little bit more off the beaten path, just a little bit away from those huge, huge crowds. And I did talk to several people over the next couple of days that talked about how crazy and overwhelming it was, and even some of them just sort of turned around and almost immediately went back to the boat because there were so many people hounding them. But try not to let it get to you because literally we went just a, a couple of blocks to our right after we left the ship and instantly totally a different world. There were definitely still plenty of little shops and restaurants and things to do, but it wasn't nearly as hectic and crazy and crowded. In fact, a spot that we really loved and spent a good bit of time is a little market that's right there. There were a bunch of different stalls that each vendor had their own little stall that they were responsible for. They had a lot of the typical sort of souvenir-y things, shirts and bags and whatnot. And that seemed like the perfect place for us to look for a mask to add to our collection. So if you want to see what we bought, be sure to check the souvenir haul video below. This little market was still definitely in one of those places where there's a lot of overlap and you'll see very similar things in a lot of the different stalls. So don't rush and pull the trigger the first time you see something you kind of like. We walked through the entire market. We were definitely looking for a mask, so we wanted to make sure we got the right one. We didn't want to get a whole bunch of them or buy one and then be disappointed a little bit later when we saw one we liked better. We did see one fairly early that we really liked and we even bartered a little bit down with the vendor for it, but we decided to go ahead and look at everything else before we made a rash decision. After checking out the whole market, we did see other masks that we liked, but we kept going back to that earlier one. So after we'd seen everything else and walked around the rest of the town, we did go back to that first vendor and talk to her and we bartered down with her and we were really happy when we walked away with the mask. And there was lots to see in that little area. Like I said, little restaurants. There was like a whole little artsy little community that was pretty cool. There were various little places right by the water that you could sit and eat and shop. Lots to do, very close to the pier. And definitely if you get a couple blocks away from right when you get off the boat, it'll get a lot calmer. After 
were wandering around for a little while, we gathered up all of our purchases and made our way back to the ship. We took advantage of the crowds being in the port and decided to grab a couple of really nice chairs at the very back of the ship and get a couple hours of sun in. We also at that point realized that we hadn't gotten our second free drink with our medallions, so we went ahead and ordered one while we were chilling in the sun and definitely it was nice to be very lazy and not have to get up and go get anything. And if you're interested in learning more about the ocean medallions from Princess Cruise Lines, I have a video for those down below as well. Eventually, we decided we'd had enough sun and we went back to our staterooms to get cleaned up and changed for dinner. And then we decided to stop by up on deck before dinner and check out Sail Away. We were leaving Antigua just as it was getting dark, so it was really beautiful to be sailing away and see all the pretty lights reflecting on the water. It was a really nice way to sort of end all our ports for this cruise. Then we had dinner in the main dining room as usual for us and hit up the evening entertainment in the Princess Theater. Even though Antigua is known for having so many wonderful beaches, we were pretty much done with swimming and beaches at this point in our trip personally. But if you've been and you think we really missed out, let me know in the comments down below in case we go back anytime soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a quick like. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.